Thank you, and I work in the public health department and the laboratory for mother and child health, so this uh, will be a very different topic. Uh, this is just a puzzle of a, a piece of a puzzle that is my PhD project that involves uh, uh, neonatal um, or infant health, maternal health, and also drugs and uh, health services utilization. These are just uh, some of the papers published in the last years. Uh, if we look uh, at the uh, health resource utilization in early life, uh, within the first six months of years, uh, infants develop uh, at least the pathological symptoms. And 70% of them receive a, a primary care visit, mostly for uh, respiratory symptoms. So about 70% uh, of them uh, receive at least one drug prescription within the, the first year of life, and 50% of them are hospitalized. Uh, but what are, which are the determinants of uh, this uh, health uh, resource utilization? First of all, let's look at the neonatal characteristics at birth. Uh, it is well known since the alpha of the past century that uh, preterm birth and very low birth weight uh, infants uh, have an higher mortality, morbidity, and health service resource uh, utilization and also associated costs. Uh, this, are this is just a summary of the pathological conditions uh, that may uh, affect uh, these two population of uh, infants. Uh, studies have shown, have, have shown that, um, um, have estimated that uh, um, these infants have between threefold to tenfold higher burden of diseases and uh, also chance to get uh, hospitalized and associated costs. These infants also uh, may develop more frequently uh, conditions uh, that may affect also adulthood, such as hypertension, type 2 diabetes and obesity. If you look at maternal determinants, uh, first of all, there is a lifestyle and uh, other habits that uh, may occur during pregnancy. For example, in this case, uh, maternal smoking uh, is uh, the, most, uh, the single most important factor affecting uh, uh, the, the fetal development uh, with the low birth weight and uh, low gestational age. We also have uh, pathological conditions that are important during pregnancy. For example, uh, depression uh, may uh, have a detrimental uh, effect on the fetal development. Um, also, other studies have shown that uh, uh, the drug prescription profile uh, in mothers is uh, related to the drug prescription profile of uh, their son. Uh, this has been demonstrated for antibiotics, hypnotics, sedatives. There are conflicting results also concerning maternal age and educational level. If we look uh, at the pediatrician, some studies have shown that uh, um, more years of clinical practice are associated with more drug prescription. Uh, there is also the geographic factor. Uh, this is the infant mortality in, uh, in Italy. So we can clearly see uh, an heterogeneity. And our laboratory uh, published uh, in last years uh, many uh, studies uh, on drug utilization and the geographic factors of drug prescription. This is just an example on uh, seven, uh, seven uh, regions uh, with the prevalence rate of antibiotics in uh, pediatric population. Uh, we demonstrated that there is an inverse uh, relationship and association with uh, uh, latitude and human development index. Um, these studies uh, um, were uh, possible thanks to administrative data. Administrative data uh, are uh, routinely collected uh, in these databases uh, for reimbursement reasons, uh, but they may be also available uh, tool for research. They provide information uh, for all the resident population in a certain area. Mm, the data, uh, there is no need to collect data because they are already available. Uh, they also allow longitudinal analysis and uh, a wide range of studies. Uh, also, they are cost effective.
So what is available in our laboratory? We have the Lombardy Regions Administrative Database, which provides this information, and also the setup with information about the pregnancy, delivery, and other maternal uh, information. By uh, linking these uh, two databases, we have a powerful source of information. The aim of the study was to evaluate uh, neonatal and maternal factors associated with uh, greater uh, resource consumption uh, in the first year of life uh, by selecting a cohort of infants that were born in uh, 2011 in the Lombardy region by looking at five uh, outcomes separately in order to see um, where um, the profile, the, 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 determin the, the determinants profile in each uh, one of them. This is just the flowchart of the study, and we'll not go into any detail, just to say that we excluded the stillbirth, uh, congenital malformation, twin births. Uh, also, we excluded all erroneous uh, anonymous unit patient identifiers and uh, all the mismatches that can occur in, uh, in a data linkage study like this. We um, included at the end uh, 51,000, uh, about 51,000 infants. This is just to show you the, the variables that uh, will be included in the multivariate analysis uh, later on and just to say that uh, the population included uh, is representative of uh, the Italian population in terms of uh, mini average gestational age and also maternal age. This is uh, the prevalence of the five main outcomes. So almost all the children in the first year of life received uh, at least a diagnostic test. Uh, about 70% of their prescription, about half of them a uh, specialist visit uh, and an emergency room admission, and 13% uh, of them an hospital admission after two weeks of age. If we look at the drug prescription profile, uh, we can see that uh, mainly were prescribed antibiotics and uh, antiasmatics and it is consistent with drug, other drug prescription uh, studies uh, in this uh, uh, early stage of life. This is, uh, these are just the, um, the variables that were statistically significant uh, in the multivariate uh, logistic regression model that um, estimate the chance to receive at least one drug prescription. I would like to focus on the bolt line uh, that say parity higher than one, that basically means that uh, uh, when uh, uh, the infant was born, uh, he already had uh, one sister or a, bro or a brother. And um, interestingly, neonatal variables were not uh, associated uh, with, uh, with the chance to receive at, le at least one drug prescription, or at least the not the most important, like, uh, for example, gestational age. Uh, all the logistic, uh, the logistic regression models uh, uh, are adjusted for local health unit or residents also. Um, if we look at the diagnostic testing, they were mainly hematochemical testing. About 92% of children uh, received uh, an hip ultrasound that is uh, performed, uh, routinely performed for the hip dysplasia uh, screening. So it is quite expected. In this case, the, the variables associated with uh, the chance to receive at least one diagnostic test prescription were Italian nationality, so a maternal variable, and uh, gestational, low gestational age. Uh, if we look at uh, specialist visits, um, infants were visited by pediatricians, neonatologists, neuropsychiatrists, and uh, oculists. In this case, we have a completely different scenario. In this case, uh, neonatal variables were those uh, most uh, uh, associated with the chance to receive at least one specialist visit prescription. And in this case, maternal variables uh, did not play a major role. If we look at the hospital admission, we, these are the, the primary diagnosis. Um, they were mainly affected by disease for respiratory systems uh, and also other infective diseases. Uh, this is consistent with what we saw also uh, with the drug profile in the outpatient settings. Um, 
the profile in the multivariate analysis was quite similar to the one observed in specialist visits uh, with uh, the with a greater importance of neonatal variables, in this case hospital stay at birth are than seven days and the low APGA score also we have in this case uh, an influence uh, that is um, quite, uh, quite low of low maternal age. Okay, looking at the last uh, uh, outcome, that is the admission to emergency room, uh, these are the causes for admission and are similar, very similar to those observed for the causes for hospital admission. In this case, we have also injury and poisoning that is expected uh, at the emergency room department. Uh, the last multivariate analysis show, uh, however, a completely different uh, picture uh, in respect to uh, admission to hospital because in this case uh, neonatal variables uh, did not play a role uh, in the admission to emergency room. In this case uh, the most important variables were maternal variables, variables with the uh, primary educational level that was the most important one. So as a summary if we look uh, at the at all the variables uh, we can say that just low gestational age and hospital stay at birth may be the most, the most impactful, if we can say, uh, in terms of uh, all the outcomes. Why? Um, looking at the outcomes, I would like to focus uh, on drug prescription and emergency room admission. In these two cases, uh, there, is, um, there is no, no influence uh, of... Uh, of the most important neonatal variables, while in these cases uh, maternal factors seem to play a role. Uh, in the case of specialist visit and hospital admission, uh, um, there is um, a, a greater effect of, uh, like it is expected, uh, of uh, other neonatal variables. So, concluding, we can say that both neonatal and maternal characteristics are associated with healthcare resource utilization, but with important differences in terms of profile, as we, can see, as we have seen in the, in the final summary chart. Uh, low gestational age and length of stay higher than seven days are the two most relevant factors, or they seem to be. Um, the, um, there is no relevant association between neonatal characteristics and drug prescriptions uh, and this was not uh, uh, a result that was expected at the beginning of the study. We can say that uh, uh, there are more prob probably more, uh, more, important, uh, more important variables that are affecting the chance to receive a drug prescription in the outpatient setting, like for example uh, the prescribing um, habits, uh, the pediatrician prescribing habits, or the maternal uh, social cultural uh, background, uh, like uh, there are studies uh, not uh, on the, the first year of life, but, but there are studies on this. Limitation, of course, we have all the limitations that uh, are affecting observational studies and database studies. Uh, we were not able to adjust for uh, important. Um, important uh, factors like, for example, maternal alcohol drinking or maternal smoking. For maternal smoking, uh, however, we, we were able to adjust for small for gestational age and uh, uh, gestational age itself. Uh, that are the two most important consequences uh, that uh, uh, exert the smoking in pregnancy. So, what are the next steps uh, um, we would like to, to add to this model? Also maternal health resource use and chronic diseases because these are important uh, variables that uh, may increase the, the validity of the results. Thanks to my lab, uh, all the people that helped me from the scientific point of view and also the statistic and to the regional health ministry for the data provided and uh, thanks for the kind attention. Thank you. Any questions?
It was quite surprising to see that um, educational level is linked to uh, emergency situation in neonatal. But uh, you have any data regarding which kind of emergency? Or uh, we have not analyzed uh, in the specific, but we we can we could. Uh, however, it is uh, this was not uh, unexpected. There are studies that um, that shown that um, infants um, the emergency department visits uh, are um, are linked to to the low educational level of the mothers because uh, it is uh, intuitive to uh, a mother that um, do not know very, ma very much about the, uh, about the, uh, the etiology of, uh, of pathology. The first thing is to, to go to the department, uh, emergency department visit. So. And the, other the other question was that um, the antibiotics prescription uh, but do you have any data about, about uh, mm, any increase or a stable level of antibiotics prescription? So the prescri prescription are increasing in at least, uh, let's say, uh, ten last ten years, or they are? No. Uh, in general, in pediatrics, uh, we in Italy we have uh, um, a very high level of uh, antibiotic prescription. Uh, we have. Uh, we are uh, the, the country in, with Greece, uh, uh, we have um, the, the, the highest uh, antibiotic consumption in pediatrics, but uh, uh, I don't think we, we are increasing. We are trying to uh, decrease this uh, higher consumption, uh, this high, too, too much high to high uh, consumption. We are trying to decrease also with all the studies, the drug utilization studies, uh, we are trying to, to push for a, a lower uh, prescription level. I have a question. So it, it seems that since uh, uh, the probability to go to the hospital or uh, say to emergency room is related to cultural aspects and not only, so, so it's not related only to like effective clinical conditions of, of, uh, of the child. So uh, is it possible to plan to design a study on the appropriateness of uh, this uh, admission to hospital of drug prescriptions? What data do you need? We have the limitation concerning the maternal, uh, maternal factors, maternal variables. We have the limitation that uh, even though we, uh, we are adjusting for uh, small, format, uh, small gestational age uh, and uh, low gestational age, uh, we have the limitation that uh, we, we are not adjusting for maternal smoking. So, maternal smoking is uh, connected with uh, low maternal age and also low uh, maternal education. So we have a confounders. We have a confounder. Uh, in this case, we cannot exclude. We have not, uh, uh, I, I don't think we have enough uh, robustness. Uh, to 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 do what you are proposing, not with uh, not with this data. Okay, thanks. I have uh, a curiosity. If I understood uh, in this study, you included uh, people from uh, Lombardia region, Italian, and uh, not uh, resident in uh, Lombardy. Is it correct? Okay, yes. but. Uh, is there a very strong influence from uh, um, foreign uh, people? Uh, yes, uh, we we the the foreign the nationality was uh, was one of the variable of the of the multivariate analysis. And if we look at the, the final summary, we can say Italian mother. Uh, 
the most strongly associated was diagnostic testing. With, uh, so uh, Italian mothers seems to uh, pretend, uh, seems, to, seems to require more uh, diagnostic testing for their children. I don't know. Um, this, uh, mm, it has to be said that uh, diagnostic testing of the, the, the outcomes, uh, all the outcomes is the, the most uh, difficult to explain to, because also we have a very high percentage. Almost all of the children received at least a diagnostic testing, especially hip uh, ultrasound. So in this case, the results uh, are not so easy to, to interpret. But yes, there is, uh, especially, especially Italian mothers, uh, um, foreign mothers bring their children more to emergency room department. And this is, this is known. There, is also other, there are also other studies, one from uh, Emilia Romagna. Uh, this, is, this is known. This is the main influence of, uh, of uh, nationality.